Hey guys, welcome back to Asia Fish Keeper. So this is just a quick update. So I have already installed my second wave maker. This is over here. And then this is the old one. Yeah, so I have synchronized both of them. So as you can see for the water movement, it's going up and down. It's very smooth. So I I've only on speed three, so that's total nine speed. Yeah, so I might increase one more to speed four. And also I build a freight rate at the budget. So I'll up, I'll be updating this video soon. And I also found this fragment floating around in my aquarium so i'm not sure if it's dead or not so i'm just gonna try so i've already found a uh, biomedia and i stick the zoas on top <coughs> because i did not buy i did not buy the fragment rack yet the empty fragment racks so this will be the place where all my new corals will be staying here temporarily so after they bloom I'll transfer them to the rocks to stick them. So this rack is good in case you got any small ones. For example, the A can. If you don't know where to put it, the place, the best place is to put at the fragment racks, cause it's directly under the pipes. And also have a good flow. Since I have bought one more wave maker, so now the flow is definitely better, a lot better. So this is my current tank with the two wave maker on sink and also the DIY fragment rack. So hopefully the Zoas survive. So yep. uh, this Zoas is separated from here, this colony. So before this, this colony was thriving. But because of the anemone coming down here, quite a lot of them did not survive. So as you can see, previously I had five, now it became one. And this one, there's still no roof. So if this anemone comes down again, I'll be putting it in a breeding box. So I'm just gonna leave it in if he ever comes down again. Because he's killing my corals and corals aren't cheap. So let's say he's he started to change his position again. I'll be putting it in a breeder box and I'll be putting it at the back over there. So I'll also put the clownfish in. I'll just open a small gap so that the fishes can swim in, in and out. So this is just a quick update. So fishes are doing fine. You see the yellow tank, my golden nugget, purple tank. This fish started to get more aggressive. He started to bullying the seal fin, fox face, and also the brown, uh, powder brown. So yesterday was more aggressive. For today, it's just alright. So I'll keep you guys updated again. So please subscribe to my channel and join the riffing journey with me. Cheers.